What's good with YouTube? It's your boy DC, and I'm back with another reaction video. You know what I'm saying? And today we're gonna be reacting to that Tesla Re Robot event. Everything revealed in eight minutes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now this is a whole robot right here, like a, that can do everything that a human being can do. Like, I want to know y'all opinions in the comments, y'all. What's y'all opinion out there about this robot so far? Like, I don't know anything about it yet. I just been seeing a lot of skits, a lot of you know everything on social media. Like me telling my old robot to do this, my robot looking at me like this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember the Will Smith movie, right? We don't want that to be the case, though. That's not going to be the case. We're not even going to speak that into the universe. I ain't going to talk y'all lyrics off to death. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Welcome. Welcome to the Wii Robot Party. So we, we, have, uh, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, as you can see, I just uh, arrived in the uh, robo taxi, the cyber cab, and uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. Okay. So they've been traveling. They're all there's no people in them, as you can see. The cars just going by with no people. And that's crazy, bro. And as someone that believes in fate, I'm not saying that I believe in fate, but for anybody that believes in fate, I don't think they will ever get in that car. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that will get in that car, like, okay, because it's a lot of people that like to explore new things. <laughs> then it's a lot of people that's like, no, I will never get in that car. I'm not trusting technology with my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a human being. Anything can go wrong with this software, any of that. And that's just a person that be thinking like, you know what I'm saying, fate, that believes in fate. But a person that don't, that want to explore, okay, of course. Me personally, I can't even say I don't believe in fate because I won't trust technology with, you know what I'm saying, my life. But they also, you know, get a lot of tests and get everything run, ran right, you know what I'm saying, just for it can be, you know what I'm saying, Clear to sell, so. That's dope though, bro. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, See, hold on. And, and, and when I was younger, they told us we was gonna have flying cars. Not car driving their self, bro. Like, how are you driving yourself? What's really going on, bro? I wonder how far like the car can take you or like I just I, So you'll see model Ys and Robotech. The cyber cab. Uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. What? Big no! And that's just a whole bunch of people ready to. <laughs> what? That's a, a no right there. What you mean? Ain't no what? Oh, man. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of uh, CyberCab, uh, which we think probably over time, for the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Mm. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. So, we do expect, actually, to, to start uh, fully autonomous 
uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the CyberCab, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, tw in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. When you, when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals. Yeah, no you, you're right. And it feels great. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So, yeah. It's kind of how it should be. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? That's a train! I'm lost for words. Wait. Oh. The, the Reboven. The Reboven is, uh, this is a we're, we're going to make this. And it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? Right. Going down the street and you see a train, bro. A train just driving on the streets. Oh, life is going to be crazy, bro. Sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is gonna... <laughs> the Revolven is what's gonna solve for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to, to that's really... That's dope though, bro. Get... This man is smart. Like, that's why he's the richest man alive. He's getting his coins. You know what I'm saying? He's smart, bro. Okay, instead of city buses, we're just going to get y'all city buses with upgrades. And you know what I'm saying? Taxis with upgrades. That makes it more simple on life. That's what a lot of us want is, you know what I'm saying? Things to be more simple in life and less pricey. You know what I'm saying? And he making that happen. So, I could say, bro, that man is a genius. So the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, ten cents a mile, then you can use the Revolvin. Some people call it the Robovan, but uh... <laughs> speaking of robots. Here we go. So everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI and first computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of done. And then we progressed. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to feel about this. I don't know if to be excited or scared, bro. Like, <laughs> they just walking out there. Like, are they really, are, are they thinking something right now? Or can you, like, you know what I'm saying? Have y'all um, played the game Detroit? You know what I'm saying? Become human. If y'all haven't, go check out that one right now. You know what I'm saying? Dramatically, year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone can own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, $20,000, $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction long term. Now, it'll you know, take us a minute to get to the long term, but um, but fundamentally, at scale, 
of the Optimus robot. You should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can. It'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend. <laughs> he so said, drink. Walk your dog. Um, Don't lay a finger on my dog with your heavy handed. No. Whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. I just. He said, whatever you can think of, it will do. <laughs> you made a hit again. I don't know, y'all. How to feel about this? Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Will y'all be one of the people that gets a robot? Or do y'all know someone who will get a robot? Or will y'all never get a robot? Or will y'all consider it? Like, what are y'all feelings on this right here? Let me know in the comments, man. If y'all haven't already, leave a like on the channel, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with your mommy, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your granny, everybody in the whole wide world, man. BCL. Peace.